have always said how do you have nothing to wear you have so many clothes I'm literally living beneath a pile of clothes this wardrobe here is full of clothes we have clothes up here clothes at the bottom of the wardrobe I have this full of pajamas a suitcase full of summer clothes this whole thing here is full of socks knickers tights belts gloves bras and my old laptop. This chest of drawers is full of clothes. So full, this does not even open or close properly. There's also a massive suitcase full of summer clothes under my bed, which is not being touched today because getting that suitcase out from under that bed is not a one woman job. This is such a first world problem, but I just want to be able to enter my room and not be suffocated by clothes all over the floor. A massive pile of washing that needs to be done. Clothes on my bed that needs to be put away. I just want to be able to see all of my clothes in a wardrobe. I don't want to have that massive pile at the bottom like I do have now. I just want to have a wardrobe full of clothes that I love and that I know I'm going to wear. So when it comes to picking an outfit, it's just so much easier because right now it's literally a struggle. When I've had previous clear hours, I've literally just like gone through and just picked out what I don't want, but I'm actually going to be taking it all out of my wardrobe. I actually don't have a rail to hang it up on, so I'm going to take my wardrobe out, wardrobe out bit by bit. But yeah, that is the only way this is going to happen, because I'll just skip past it and just it will just end up staying in my wardrobe, which can't happen. So the questions I'm going to keep asking myself throughout this clear out are, number one, do I wear this often? Now, not have I worn this once in the past two years, but do I reach for this every couple of weeks? Number two... Does it fit? As you can see, this top clearly does not fit, so that is going to be going. And finally, question number three is, does it make me feel like myself? Does it make me feel comfortable? Do I feel good when I wear this? Do I feel like I can take on the world when I wear this? So I'm starting from the bottom and working my way up. I've actually kind of cheated here because I actually sorted this one out the other day. It's not folded very well, I just kind of did it quickly before I was going out. But I've got the pile, oh God, of stuff that I don't know if I want anymore. So the first thing I have are these ASOS black mum jeans because I haven't worn them in so long because I've got a new pair now so I'm going to try them on. These culottes I have not worn in a century so they are coming in the do not want pile. Let's crack on with this one. This is full of gym clothes so literally doing this and it's got some jumpers in there as well. My gym stuff I'm going to sort through it by is it comfortable and Will I actually wear it to the gym? Like, do I feel comfortable enough to wear this to the gym? These leggings I got a couple years ago from this guy did in the sale. They are a nice legging, but they are so, so, so see-through. And I know that I will just never, ever reach to put these on when I have so many pairs of leggings that aren't see-through. So for that, they are going the... Uh, for the rest of the jumpers and again does not even open properly this is a plain white jumper and my sister actually gave me two of these and now i think about it i really really do not need two of them so i think the other one might be in that wardrobe and this is just a jumper that i wear around the house so i did really do not need two of them and they are big so they take up a lot of space so we keep in one and the other wherever it is is going This is another of Jed's. So recently he gave me this yard sale one, which I frigging love. And now he's giving me this one. I just don't wear the red one anymore. So I think I'm gonna give this back to him. I think he said the other day he might take it back anyway when he put it on. I might now actually be able to fit all of my jumpers just in this one because they were taken up over half of this one. It is good news. They have all fit in here and there's space for that big yellow one that I've just put in the wash. still has the label and tag on it. I got this in the sale from Pretty Little Thing first year of university, well when I should have been at university so I must have been about 18 and yeah this is definitely going in the do not want pile.
I remember when everyone used to be obsessed with mesh. This top here is actually from Asda and it's like age 10 to 11 I think, yeah age 9 to 10, it's so cute. I used to be obsessed with stripes, like literally obsessed, if you couldn't tell I have a lot of stripey stuff here. This was a well loved off the shoulder, oh my god I used to love this for this my 18th birthday but I literally cannot remember the last time I wore it, I think it was like when I first got with Jed like on our first date so like over two and a half years ago so that is going. I finished going through that top drawer, this is my don't want pile, this is my gonna try on pile and this is the ones that I'm definitely keeping. And I probably will not end up keeping a lot of these, so I'm quite proud of the metal tops that I'm getting rid of because I never normally have like a massive coal this big, so proud of myself. It's now time to tackle this big ass mess. These white tops are actually my tops from when I used to work at Zara. But they are just like the plain white t-shirt that they actually send Zara. This one my mum died kind of blue. I don't even know why I still have that. That is what I'm keeping. That is what I'm getting rid of. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this, she's just going to put it on the floor. This is one of the shirts that my mum gave me that used to be hers. And it's such a lovely shirt. Like I literally love it. But I realise that it's got paint on the back. I'm just going to give this back to her. So this is like my favourite basic white t-shirt. This is from Uniqlo and I think they're like £10 but they're so thick and like such a nice quality t-shirt. So currently this is how many things I've taken off hangers. There's so much more space here before I literally was like pushed over to one side. So let's start with down here now. Of course I always wear this. I had to put this in here because the back of my door with my coats. It doesn't even look like a lot from here, but there's so many coats in there that I just couldn't fit down anymore. I need to go through my coats as well. So I'm undecided about this because I really don't wear leather jackets anymore, but it's in the style that I like. So I'm going to try it on. Like, if it was black, I'd prefer it over here. This black leather jacket I have not worn in so long. I used to wear it all the time. I think I got it in that like, year 11. Oh my god. I forgot about this top. So it's now time for this dreaded just bottom bit of the I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this neon green turtleneck. It was when neon was in trend, but it literally makes me look like a tennis ball. Don't mind all of my makeup brushes just drying on the side here. So this is something that I just love. I feel myself in this. I feel secure. I feel comfortable. Oh my god, when I was in slip form, I loved this shirt. I think I got it from somewhere on Brick Lane. I just really don't know about this one. I haven't worn this in ages, so I feel like that's a sign to get rid of it. I literally love these trousers. I got them in the sale from Monkey, like, last summer. They actually fit me better than they did, did when I wore them in Barcelona, but yeah, I love these. I have about... 60 or more spare hangers now. I am completely done with clearing out my clothes. I still have a lot to try on, which I'm not going to do now because honestly, I'm actually clothed out. I'm going to carry on with it later. But like, that's like my maybes. I've got all of my actual getting rid, getting rid of stuff here. So there might be some more stuff added to this, but I have gone through like the maybes and been like, okay, yeah, no, I'm actually don't, I actually don't want this. So I've just added it all back to this massive pile of clothes, which I'm now going to reveal to you all the stuff I'm getting rid of, which I'm going to have to find a suitcase to put in somewhere. I literally have another suitcase full of clothes from my last purge, but the purge is complete. I'll present you the pile of clothes that I'm getting rid of. This honestly took forever. I cannot try on any more clothes. It's so satisfying having a clear out, but and then it comes to, I'm like, what am I going to do with all of these clothes now? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's inspired you to go through your wardrobe and just see how much rubbish you have sitting in there please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i would love 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 to have you over here thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video